Hello everyone, welcome to my video blog. Uh, I've been doing a few video blogs on the model railway that I'm setting up in my workshop, but I also do electronics, and my main project was electronics and building electronic kits, which I enjoy. And so I just thought I'd do a video blog on a valve ramp that I'm building. Second time I build this, this um, but I'll show you who I'm, what I'm building and where I got the design from. Um, this is going to be the what's called the engineer's amp on Peter Millett's website, which is up here. I, I'll do the link for this at the bottom. And if you go on the, um, all, some of the audio forums, which I will be able to bring up as well, I'll just open this in the tab. Um, so this is a good one. Um, on this DIY audio forum, I'll, I'll leave this link up there as well. Um, there is a forum on Peter's AMP, which goes on for quite a few pages and some excellent um, information on how to adapt this AMP to take different valves or different um, outputs. Um, it's designed it. This one uh, is a push pull output, and it gives out. I think it's 18 watts. I'm just looking for it on here, but can't find it. I'm pretty sure it's 18 watts output on this um, to do so. I oh, know there it is, 20 watts, um, which is plenty for any room, normal house room with um, some good speakers. He gives all the schematics on his draw, um, website of how to build it. He's using these sweet um, valves, which these up here which I've not been able to get in the, in the UK where I live so I like to import these from America which is a bit expensive so I would like to be able to redesign this again one day um, using some UK valves or European valves or get them cheaper but he gives everything on the website very very good website the information and um, what he gives and ha how, to, how it all works and he also gives you the full PDF schematics you can download here and all the materials that you need so you can go to an electronics um, online store like Moosey I think it was that I used um, and you can get all the components for the building this amp. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration of what I'm building to show you how good this amp is. Like I say this is the second time I've built it. The first time it, it ran really really well um, but I wasn't happy with the chassis in the build because I was a bit quick on it all so I'm redesigning it all. Um, so I'll just do a bring your camera up and show you what I'm doing. Um, the camera quality is probably not great. I'll try and get um, this on my big camera at some point and do an update later on as I build the amp. So this is my new chassis. chassis. Um, I'm using a aluminium plate now as 3 mil thick which I've got from an online aluminium company um, and I've drilled all the holes out. Peter gives all the um, dimensions for the holes and where they're supposed to be and you can print out the pay page, stick it on your alley, mark it all out and you have everything ready and then the holes, all these holes are drilled out using um, a pillar drill that I've got and a normal metal hole cut. Take my time using some um, WDF or anything like that, any oil, oil cutting compound. Because um, if you go through too quick, it does leave a lot of residue. The alley sort of melts out rather than cuts through nicely. Um, so all the plates been done, filed down, and I polish it as best I can. I'm not brilliant at polishing metal. Could do some more work. Um, and the back holes over here are going to be for the transformers, which I'll talk about in a minute. So these holes are for the valves. So the big valves are going to be going in there, like this. And there's the little valves that we going in there. Um, so that, it looked like much nicer than my original one, which had the um, valve plate sitting on top of the um, on top of the metal plate. Um, I might have an old picture of the old one. I'll be able to put the publish on the on the on this later one. And so I prefer it with the valves sitting through the holes. It looks, I think it looks nicer. So that's mainly it for the metal plate. The Surround is a hardwood surround which I've might have joint, jointed um, and I've rebated for the metal plate sitting and the base has got a rebate around the bottom which you'll probably just about to see it on this video so it's not a great video um, which will take the base um, and the metal pins that you can see here sticking through um, are going to be for the PCB to be attached and I've got the copper nuts on top to hold in there I prefer, I, I think this looks better that you could go counter some ones and lose the nuts and bolts, but being a an engineer's amp, it looks nicer really. Um, the front hole, as you can see, I've got a slot in it at the moment, which is just purely for cosmetics to add something into it. I'm putting this metal grill in the back of that, which is going to be in there like that, and the, um, and I've got a nameplate I've rattled out of some wood, um, and I'm calling this the Audio Blues amp. So blues because blues music but also because this is a uh, going to be quite a blue amp i'm going to have led blue lights shining through here i'm going to switch on 
and it's going to have the egg core transformers like the original which are going to be sitting on there which are blue um, so if anyone interested in building this in the UK there's the egg core transformers which will be going in um, these are from America um, which you'll pay a lot of money for import taxes but there is a place if you look up and I'll try and find it to put a link in um, that sell these in Germany or Europe and so you can buy these from Europe and get them imported over to the UK and not have to pay all the import taxes that you pay from America um, which is really expensive uh, saying that the valves that I bought which are the uh, sweet valves I think they are um, which you can get on the, on the information on the internet um, on Peter's website these were imported from America and Peter built this amp based on this being a cheap amp because these are very cheap in America um, that you can get them quite for uh, I think seven or eight dollars um, each, which are which are really good price. But then if you import them over to every time you pay the postage, um, the import taxes, and then if you get well, mail gets old a bit, they bung on their extra handling charge, even though you've already paid someone like FedEx the price. These can be up to double to three times the bad amount of money you pay. So I would like to be able to build this amp one day, um, and I'm doing my research to build exactly, exactly the same sort of amp because I do like the design. But using UK valves or European valves. Um, still to be done, I've got to get in some input and output audio connections, which I'm hoping to get two at the back here. Yeah. So an input and two at the back here for an output. Um, I originally had the inputs and outputs on the back, but being a, a wide amp, I don't know if you know, it's, it's about uh, just over a foot, to, um, say 15 inches long. I can measure it later on. Um, it sticks, it's quite a big amp. So to have cables at the back, it then sticks away from the wall and it takes a lot of room up then. So I like to get the cables coming out the top, which I think look neat and neat as well. And I've still got to get an on off switch. So wherever the on off switch goes on the front here, which would be a neon blue on metal on off switch, or whether I can actually get it into the corners on here, I've got to look into that as well. I might be able to get that back here. So that's some of the design that still needs to be done. Um, so that's basically it for the chassis, I think. Um, so most of it's nearly finished off. I've got a few bits to add on before I get the PCB in. For the PCB, you can buy the actual red PCB, I've got mine already built here, um, you can buy the red PCB used from eBay, if Peter's still selling them, if he's not, give him an email, I'm sure he'll, he'll be able to do some, because he's a um, nice guy who likes to get his stuff out there. So, yeah, PCBs you can buy, which have to be imported again from America, and all the components uh, I managed to get from a, a local electronics online store, which were exactly the same what Pete's used. I've used the same capacitors as well. I've not modified much um, to be able to build this. There is two, two different types of um, valves that these take, which are, he explains on there. And for the two different types, you have, do have this link on the main output um, valves. Um, and I can't remember. I think one of them was for the um, 6JN6, um, which had one of them had the link in for that, or one of them was the 6GB5s. Uh, um, or 6JN6, um, but he does explain it on his website. If you, if you don't understand that, I'll try and um, add it to the blog as we go along. So this still needs to be mounted. Two, two, um, these holes here are for the um, regulators, two uh, re like, um, MOSFET regulators, some of them, which come out of here, and they'll be bolting on to the actual chassis through these holes here, um, which dissipates the heat. When, for the for the regulator side, um, I've got these over here. It, like I show you, these, these will be bolting to the underneath, and connecting to the PCB. Um, for so it dissipates the heat, save so them heat sinks. Um, as you can see, I've done this before because this has still got the compound on it, and hopefully I haven't damaged these. But uh, Pete does show a big heat sink on here, um, which you can add in, it makes it look more like an, in, an an engineering bit of kit. But I have run my previous one just bolting it to this plate and it's run fine, it's not got too hot, so I'll probably go for that sort of setup again. Um, so that, I think that's pretty much it for this video. As I build it, I'll do more of the video in through my main DLR, DLR, um, DSLR video, uh, camera, so you get a bit of better image, and hopefully I'll have it running up within a month or so, um, and working. One of the things I'm changing on this as well is the previous one that had just an all tension uh, for the volume control, um, all going well, because I've got no design of a volume on this 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 amplifier to this time. All going well, I'll be adding a attenuator volume control, which will be controlled by an Arduino. So I'll try and add them videos on it, and we'll have I'll have this and the attenuator sitting side by side controlling the music. I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, 
please feel free to comment. I'll be adding this to my website blog as I go along. And as I start to build it, I'll be putting some more video blogs up or adding it to this video blog. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.